What's up, everybody? It's Sugar Erica from the Classy Con blog. You see the title, Loose Money, Shrinkage. Now, you may be thinking, Erica, are you going to talk about stealing at stores? Are you going to talk about loose money in the economy? Well, it's a combination. And so I just got off a hilarious like group phone call where we were talking about um, the popular guy who used to have all those women running around him. He's a giant trick. And he used to claim he made all this money gambling, but he didn't. If you know who I'm talking about, put it in the comments below. He may be on the thumbnail by the time I release this. And he tried to say, oh, I never paid those women. They just wanted to be around me. I'm sleeping with multiple women a day. I never paid them. And he's saying this to save face. Dan Brazilia, you know who I'm talking about. But before I start that, hey, what's, who am I and why am I talking about this? My name is Erica Williams, author of the Smartphone Millionaire book, How to Invest in People businesses and real estate from the palm of your hand you can grab this on amazon uh it's been a bestseller for years now at this point thank you for all the purchases uh but loose money shrinkage we've been up talking about this and i have family members who've been in the nfl i actually have two family members who work with two very prominent teams chicago uh bears and baltimore ravens and they've been there for over 10 15 years they're in the suites Okay, I'll just say it that way. You, you won't figure out who we are. We all don't have the same last name. So it's it's just funny to me. Uh, but this is why you see me at the games. Okay, so why do I tell people that's bull crap that these women just happen to just show up and, and come sleep with people for free and hang out for free? This isn't true. This is this is one of those those lovely barbershop myths and fantasies that women just fall out the sky when you get money and you don't have to pay for them. You're paying for them. You're paying for dinners, you're paying for lunches, you're paying for travel, you're paying for apartments. One of the funniest things is I knew Leonard, well, for I release his full name, he's from Miami Dolphins. Uh, he was saying how he saved all his money because he thought any moment I'm gonna get cut, I'm just a guy on the bench, I'm never gonna play. And he just kept saving all his money for the six years he was in the NFL. And people knew he saved his money because they were like, man, you live in a really small apartment. You don't have a brand new car? What's going on? Because he was always in fear of getting cut from the NFL. Well, he would talk to these guys, and these guys would be paying girls' apartments in the middle of Oklahoma, Dallas, Texas, you know, Tampa, Florida, you know, some little cheap little eight hundred thousand dollar a month apartment, and they'd be like, "It's no money." Right? They would be tipping the guy carrying their clothes, packing stuff up for them. They tip them forty, fifty, a hundred bucks. And this is what I call loose money. These same guys would turn around and ask our friend, our family friend Leonard out of North Carolina that played on the NFL team, hey man, can you give me some money? We get paid in like 60 days and, and I'm just out of money and, and nobody will loan me any money. He said, man, go ask your financial advisor. Go ask this person, go ask this person. I don't have it. He said, come on, man, I know you got it because you save your money. You're not like the other guys. You save all your money. You think you're getting cut. And he'd never give him any money. He'd cry broke and say he's got to pay for all these family members in North Carolina. And he was just broke. He couldn't do it. And so what he learned from that is loose money, shrinkage. Many of these NFL players piss this money away. Never once on their mind is the thought of investments, long-term future, the shit they say on camera. Because they're thinking about booty, 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 right? <laughs> booty and having fun. And that's the majority of Americans. And America runs off shrinkage and loose money. Let me explain. America runs off 80% of us just being in debt up to our eyeballs, going to work for the next 50 years of our life, never really planning for the next week or next day. That's why I talk about this channel. Can you plan out your year? They aren't, <laughs> the average American is just like, what's for dinner tonight? And what's for dinner tomorrow? And what are we gonna do this weekend? When you start talking to people about six month plans, a year plans, especially older black people, Lord, if I live to see it, if I tarry, if the Lord's willing, if it's possible, they start talking in these, you know, religious fanatical BS. Like, I don't even know if I'll be alive kind of conversations. And you're like, but what if you are? See, they're not thinking like that. 80% of Americans are just going, hey, I got enough money to cover my bills. I got enough money to live, good enough, right? Good enough. And so what ends up happening, unfortunately for a lot of people, is they stay stuck in these like very uh, consumer-driven materialism, debt to their eyeballs, stressed, bad health, eating bad foods, children eating bad food, them having bad health. And I see countless Instagram stories, TikTok, and I remember going to college and people were like, my parents just had a heart attack. My parent just had a stroke. My parent is 500 pounds. And like, I'd be like, what the fuck? 
because I'm thinking from perspective, I have military parents who are running and jogging every day still, who all their friends are fit and in shape and figuring out their retirement and their second career. But you're going to school with people who are 20 years old, who parents are 500 pounds and they're like i don't even know if i'll live to see two more years you've probably been seeing these commercials for middleman to millions course what is middleman to millions we're teaching so many people how to have service businesses the upcoming year one of the fastest growing businesses you will see are service businesses and digital businesses why is that because so many things need repairs need maintenance and guess what we have a shortage of men and also women who could do things listen i'm not the best with a hammer but i know i can gather a crew of people to get things done and that's what i've done with two of my service businesses and that's what i'll be teaching if you check us out in the middleman and millions course and look forward to us on the road with digital liberty tour 2024 scroll williams that is a real thing okay there is a lot of loose money and our society our economy is built off loose money our society cannot handle more than 20 to 30 percent of us really being alert and investing our money this is why you're i have another video called no one works in la you'll see the video sometime this week i don't know right and the reason i talk about it uh is because you have this good 20 percent. i call it that's why i made the course the rise of the 20 percent um you have about 20 percent of our population that like just does basic math and goes if i have one or two rentals or i have like some kind of e-com business or some part-time business with my uncle or a vending machine business or something part-time that pulls in five to ten k a month i'm good that's more than enough i'll be just fine i won't need much more I'll live well. See what I'm saying? When they start doing that math, they don't have to get caught up. But but our economy runs off loose money. So if you're willing to go, how can I make money off loose money? Hmm. I can sell supplements because most people are not drinking enough water. They're not taking care of themselves. They're not eating enough vitamins. If I sell them that in a pill, I win, right? If I sell them, I can help tutor their children and help them gain back all the years of neglect they've done to their kids and tutor them for next 60 days and get them passing out of high school uh, again it's something you can tell our economy runs off people who are just living day to day and very re reactive not proactive so please don't believe this hype of oh these famous men never pay for women women just throw themselves at them for 100 percent free no they are under the same guise as everybody else loose change loose money shrinkage it catches them too just at a bigger level with more money please don't fall for that don't fall for that hype that he's selling in this interview that these women just these women just showed up now there are some people right uh and nature boy put his picture here peter somewhere somewhere here nature boy built a cult right where they're gonna be in the forest of the jungles of costa rica eating fruits and veggies and, and the eating off the lamb and just having sex all day. That cult ran off the mentality of loose money, shrinkage. We'll just move to the middle of the woods and, and live well, right? And, and we've seen these people. These are what we call on the internet, the free spirit group. I'm a free spirit. No, you're in your late thirties and forties with no plan, riding with the wheel, you know, <laughs> Riding a motorcycle with no helmet and shock when you get injured. You know what I'm saying? Those type of people. We've all seen them. We all know them. Now, I'm not cramping down on anybody. You're free to live however you want to live. But loose money theory comes to their door too, right? Uh, I see a lot of free spirits end up being substitute teachers in their 40s and 50s. I see a lot of loose uh, free spirited people go have to work these caregiver jobs and low income jobs and say, man, I got to get serious about my career. You're 45. You, you, you might want to get might want to get serious you might want to get serious so again do not fall for this fantasy living that we saw also 2019 to 2021 was oh loose money loose money put a lot of these e-com online business owners uh and course creators it made them seem rich it made them seem like they were doing well because they were making money and living well off loose money loose 
income, loose thinking. If I just take this course and, and this one course, it'll change my life. What happens is a bunch of people take a bunch of cheap courses, get to you with high quality, expensive courses and go, well, can I get a discount? I've already, I've already made so many mistakes. I have people I work with in business right now. We won't work for much longer. And they're like, well, I made all these mistakes. Can't you help me? No, you still have to pay the tax. And unfortunately, at this point, it's like what we call a stupid tax. You really got to pay it now. You really got to pay it. So uh, don't let loose money or shrinkage happen to you. Uh, grab out a piece of paper, <laughs> grab a pen and paper, write down some of the stuff you're seeing and experiencing and how to prevent it by just a little planning and just a little preparation. So listen, uh, I think we still have the code going, I guess, for the month of March. I'm not certain. Uh, put the book word birthday in and you get 85% off all courses on the channel for the month of March for our birthday month. And we thank you so much for supporting the channel, being here. Listen, loose change. Don't let it hit you, right? Figure out a way to produce and sell things to those who are not prepared. This is Erica, Classic on Blog. Later. What's up, May 5th and 6th? Join me in Atlanta for the Digital Liberty Tour. We have a collection of good hosts and speakers coming through. I'm so excited. Uh, we're going to be teaching you how to power up from your phone to have 24-7 income coming in. How? Affiliate marketing. Uh, we're going to teach you about a lot of content creation. Also, how to create YouTube and Facebook ads and Google ads. Listen, we also are going to have credit specialists there. We're also going to have, because funding is going to be so very vital and important in 2024, we're also going to have the Acre Boys fly down from New York to teach you about the importance of buying land online, the digital space where you don't have to leave your home. Again, the power of the liberty, the liberty comes from being able to do this, any of this stuff on your phone. Also, we'll have a service business specialist in there helping you show how they've grown their business online by using the tools that online prefers. Uh, listen, we don't want you to leave this, this event without being able to master Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, or what uh, type of stream of income you'd like to desire. There's going to be workbooks included, and you know we're going to eat tacos on Cinco de Mayo. So be there or be square. The link's in the bio. We're going to be at a beautiful Kipton Shane Hotel. Fancy. You're going to love it. This is your girl, Erica, Classic on Blog. See you guys there.